Behold, what you are about to see is an unprecedented high-definition tour of Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in 360 degrees. You can look through Islam's third holiest site in more detail than ever before. Millions of feet have walked these grounds, and now you can join them. This tour will take you inside the Dome of the Rock and Al-Qibli Mosque, and around many of the other religious landmarks on the compound's 14 hectare grounds. To experience Al-Aqsa in 360 degrees, drag your mouse around the screen to navigate, or tilt your phone in the direction you'd like to view. You are now atop the central platform housing the Dome of the Rock, which was built on the highest spot of Al-Aqsa compound, a plateau that rises four meters above the rest of the mosque's courtyard. Caliph Abdul Malik bin Marwan had the dome built in the seventh century on top of a large rock, the spot where Muslims believe the Prophet Muhammad ascended into heaven. It is one of the earliest existing models of Islamic architecture. If you look closely at the Dome of the Rock, you will see that it is decorated with tin glazed earthenware and verses from the Quran. Also, in this area of the platform is the Dome of Ascension. Can you make out the smaller, crown shaped dome at its peak? The Dome of Ascension was built to commemorate the Prophet Muhammad's ascension into heaven. In between the two larger domes, you can see a smaller octagonal dome. This was built to mark the spot where the Prophet Muhammad is believed to have led the prophets and angels in prayer during his night journey. You are now on the eastern side of the Dome of the Rock platform. Move away from the Dome of the Rock and you will see the Dome of the Chain, which is located next to it and used as a space for prayer. The Dome of the Chain is among more than 200 historic and religious sites domes and water wells located throughout Al-Aqsa compound. Let's go inside the Dome of the Rock. Many Muslims come here to read and discuss the Quran. If you look up, you can see a brilliant mosaic of tiles on the ceiling and towards the center of the room, a cylindrical column houses the Holy Rock of Ascension. Behind the green plastic sheeting, the dome's artwork and mosaics are being renovated. Do you see the open doorway on the side of the central column? These visitors are going downstairs. Let's follow them. Now we are underneath the Holy Rock of Ascension in a tiny cave where worshippers come to pray like this man here. If you look around the whole cave, you will see the space is very small. Only a handful of people can comfortably pray here at any given time. The cave is a naturally occurring structure, and many Muslims believe that it is blessed. We are now back outside in the southern part of the Dome of the Rock's courtyard. If you look opposite from the Dome of the Rock, you will see another arched gate with a view directly towards the silver-domed Al-Qibli Mosque. Further to the right, in the background, can you spot the tall gate of the chain minaret overlooking the western wall? If you look directly in front of the arched entrance to the Qibli Mosque, you will see al Kas, a circular fountain surrounded by an elaborate iron fence. This is where worshippers perform their ablutions before prayer. We have now stepped inside the Qibli Mosque, a structure that dates back to the 8th century. Look around and you will see worshippers in the midst of prayer. Here's another angle from inside the mosque. If you look up towards the intricately patterned ceiling and then down to where the arched columns meet, can you see the circles containing Arabic script? Written here are the different names for God. The Qibli Mosque is also referred to as Al-Aqsa Mosque, although that title more accurately describes the entire 14 hectare compound. If you face in the direction of the green arrow, you'll be facing the Kaaba, the direction where Muslims turn to pray. 
Al-Aqsa Mosque was the first qibla, or direction of prayer, in Islam. Although the mosque looks peaceful today, it has come under attack numerous times as Israeli soldiers have fired tear gas and rubber-coated steel bullets inside the compound. We are now outside of the Qibli Mosque in the courtyard on its western side. It is raining lightly and if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of raindrops hitting the ground. From this courtyard, visitors can access the Islamic Museum, located next to the Moroccan Gate. It is believed to be the first museum founded in Palestine. We have now moved further north, along the western side of the compound. Across from the Dome of the Rock, along the western boundary of Al-Aqsa compound, you can see a number of current and former school buildings. As the sun sets, the compound has largely emptied out. You have now experienced a day at Al-Aqsa, and while this day has been peaceful, many others have not. The site has seen much conflict in recent decades, as some Jews, who refer to the site as Temple Mount, want to build a third temple on its grounds. Many Muslims are fearful for its future. Please share this video on Facebook or Twitter 